Hello, welcome back to a new video. Lauren Hardy, Memorabilia and Charlie Chaplin Collectibles. In this video I've got two new LPs and a few postcards added to the collection. I've already put photos on uh, and showed them that way, but uh, it's good to do a video and do a little talk about them as well. So starting off with the, the postcards, which is this one, which I have several very similar to this one, which is uh, a very famous shot of both Lauren Hardy and I believe this postcard is probably around 1930s, maybe 40s, I'm not 100% sure on the exact date of this style of vintage postcard but uh, again very similar to other original Lauren Hardy postcards I've got but uh, just slightly different colour and different poses of them and uh, this is a really nice out of character shot of both Lauren Hardy and a nice portrait postcard, vintage shot, really lovely postcard there. And then the next two postcards, which I was really excited to get hold of, which are these two, which are wartime postcards from Italy. And uh, they're 1943. So you have one in army outfits and the other one in uh, Navy sailors outfits. So both wartime postcards and they've never been written on so basically they're they're still sort of brand new from the times but they're obviously showing signs of age and uh, wear and tear from uh, from the wartime days but uh, again really nice cartoon style Lauren Hardy shots there of Lauren Hardy on uh, rare postcards so it's nice to have those added to the postcard collection and then on from that I had this LP which I, I thought is a, a rarer uh, vinyl record which is really nice to to have this style of uh, record of Lauren Hardy uh, to put towards the, the vinyl collections of Lauren Hardy and uh, you've got the, the really nice um, stacks, uh, Bud Stacks photo shot there uh, or image there of Lauren Hardy that's been used for this uh, particular album. So this is Lauren Hardy Naturally High and uh, this is 1970 this record and uh, a bit of detail about what's on this record on the back but basically this is all um, it consists of dialogue and songs from their film so you've got side one, side two, so side one for example you've got Let Me Call You Sweetheart which is from Swiss Miss or you've got you've got a match which is from Blockheads, and then uh, side two for for example you've got a dog bit me which is from Helpmates, and then going down to Dixie with Rosina Lance which is uh, Wild Rest, and uh, and so on. So all the all the dialogue and songs from the Lauren Hardy films. But so I just really love the artwork on the album itself. It's almost given uh, almost a 60s uh, vintage look about it with all the colours almost reminds me a bit like a Beatles kind of look about it with all the different colours on the album but um, really great shots there of Lauren Hardy uh, on this particular rare vinyl LP from 1970 so this is nice to have a part of the LP uh, collection and then the other vinyl LP that I have which is this one which is the Rogue Song Really, really nice uh, vinyl LP again. So this is the original motion picture soundtrack to the Rogue song. And uh, you have Lauren Hardy here in characters from, from their film, from, from the film of the Rogue song. And then on the back, you've got all the details from the film, a little bit about Lauren Hardy. And then you've also got um, all the cast with Lauren Hardy's name. And then you've got side one, side two. So you have also got all the operatic songs and also the dialogue from the films. So for example, you've got Love Comes Like a Bird on a Wing. And then you've got Hardy Mounts His Horse. Uh, and then you've got side two, Shaving Scene with Lauren Hardy. And you've got Death of Yellow Girl with Lauren Hardy. And then uh, you've got the final, the rogue song with Lauren Hardy Tibet. So basically this is uh, this was a, a uh, uh, Technicolor film 
So this, this is from 1930, and uh, most Law and Order fans know uh, about this film. So this is directed by this was directed by Lionel Barrymore and Hal Roach together. So this was a uh, music musical um, romantic uh, film. So basically, it was about a Russian bandit who falls in love with a princess but takes his revenge on her when her brother rapes and kills his sister. Hal Roach wrote and directed the LNH sequences and then, of course, stars Lawrence Tibbet, Catherine Dale Owen, with their names up here, and featuring Stan Law and Oliver Hardy. And uh, basically their films were sort of inters interspread throughout the film in an attempt to boost box office appeal. Um, so this is uh, an MGM first all-talking Technicolor film. The film is, is partly, partly lost uh, as there are no known complete prints, only fragments and uh, the soundtrack does exist. And uh, which is a great shame because it's still a big hunt on even now amongst Law fans and uh, you know big Law and Hardy fans that, that, that still try to hunt this film down. Um, but uh, again, still no known complete prints. But uh, from research, there was about eight comic episodes throughout the film with Law and Hardy. You got one scene I have on DVD. They're in a storm. And uh, their tent is blown away, uh, and they find cover in a cave, and a bear enters. Stan and Ollie can't see anything because it's pitch black, and Ollie thinks Stan has a fur coat on. The bear growls, and Stan and Ollie flee. So that's one small comic segment from the film. Another segment is uh, which uh, Stan swallows a bee, and uh, which has survived on the trailer, which is uh, almost intact. And uh, you can actually see those scenes on uh, YouTube. Uh, if you if you tap in the Rogue song, you'll be able to watch the almost complete uh, trailer and also the, the full scene where Stan and Ollie are in the storm and uh, and they hide in the cave and they get attacked by the bear. Uh, so you have little operatic scenes that have survived as well with Lawrence Tibber as well and uh, scenes with Catherine Dale Owen, but there's nothing as a complete print of the film. And uh, it's a good job we have got those scenes. Otherwise, we would just have the surviving soundtrack and no no footage at all. But uh, this is a really lovely um, find. Uh, it's even got a price tag on there. I don't know if that's the original price, uh, price tag, uh, but I didn't pay that, which is £8.95. Uh, I paid less f uh, f f for that amount. And... Uh, so basically, yeah, so that's it. So this is 19, um, 1980, this LP. So uh, it's a really nice addition to the record LP collection on Lauren Hardy Records. So that's it for this video. So in the next video, I'm going to show some items I got from the uh, Lauren Hardy Museum, which was a recent visit, and uh, just basically little knick-knacky display things, museum um uh, gifts basically from the museum which was quite exciting and was a great trip but I'll do that on the next video so uh, I hope everyone's enjoyed this short video on a few more low and hardy items and uh, keeping safe and well everybody so uh, take care and bye for now